Dear student, today we will learn chapter number three, indices and cube roots. Practice set three point two. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it to that cell. Let's start. Let us see the meaning of indices in the form of rational numbers, such as five upon two, two upon three, five upon four, four upon five. That is m upon n. Okay, you can see these all fractions are rational number. The most important is that the numerator of each fraction is other than one. For example, here we have ten raised to two upon three, five raised to seven upon nine, three raised to three upon four. You can see that the index of each of the index form is rational number. Where the numerator of each index form is other than one. How to read the following index form? Let's example. Here we have the first question. Four raised to five upon seven. Now let's see how to read this index form. The first way you can write this fifth power of seventh root of four. Look at the numerator of this fraction. What it is? Five. That five is what is power, and denominator is what you all know. It is a root. So denominator is root, whereas the numerator is power. So we can say it is a fifth power of seventh root of four. You can also read this index form like this also. Seventh root of Fifth power of four. Okay, you can say first power and then root, or you can say root and then power. This two way we can write this given index form. Let's see one more example. Here we have ten raised to two upon three. Okay, so what is the index over here? Two upon three. So what is the numerator of this fraction? Two, and denominator is three. So denominator indicates root, third root. A numerator indicates power, second power, or you can say square. So we can read this as square of cube root of ten. You can also read this as cube root of square of ten. So you can read this kind of index form in two different ways. First power and then root, and the second time you can write root and then Power. Now we will have practice set three point two. Complete the following table. Here we have question number one. Two hundred and twenty-five raised to three upon two. Look at the third column. It is given power of the root. So first we will write the power and then we will write the root. Power should be in a numerator and root should be in a denominator of the Index. So here it is. You can see in the numerator it is three. So it is third power. You can also say it is a cube of second root or square root. Cube of square root of two twenty five. Now we will write the same thing in different way. Root of the power. So which root you can see in this? It's a second root, square root, and which power? Third power, or you can say cube. So square root of cube of two hundred and twenty-five. Here we have the next question: forty-five raised to four upon five. So first we will write the power, and then we will write the root. Which power you can see over here? What is there in the numerator? Four. So it's a fourth power, and which root? Fifth root. So we we can write this. Fourth power of fifth root of forty-five. Now the same thing we will write in another way: root of the power. So which root? Fifth root. Which power? Fourth power. So fifth root of fourth power of forty-five. Now here we have the third one: eighty-one raised to six upon seven. So what is the power over here? Sixth power. And what is root over here? Seventh root. So it is sixth power of seventh root. Of eighty-one, which you can also write as seventh root of 
sixth power of 81. Now here we have the next 100 raised to 4 upon 10. What is the numerator? 4. So it is 4th power. And what is the denominator? 10th. So denominator indicates root. So it is 10th root. So we can say that it is 4th power of 10th root of 100. Which you can also write as 10th root of 4th power of 100. Now here we have the 5th one. 21 raised to 3 upon 7. So which power? third power okay third is also be known as cube cube and what is root over here seventh root so it is cube of seventh root of 21 okay which you can also write as seventh root of cube of 21 write the following numbers in the form of rational indices square root of fifth power of 121 so now we have to write this statement in index form okay so look at over here what is the base of the index form 121 and what would be the index of this number it would be fraction it would be fraction because it's a rational number so in a fraction denominator would be the root and numerator would be the power so it would be 121 raised to 5 upon 2. You can see that that 5 is indicates over here power, whereas the denominator indicates over here root. Cube of fourth root of 324. Okay, so which power? Third power cube. So numerator would be 3. Fourth root denominator would be 4. So it would be 324 raised to 3 upon 4. Now here we have fifth root of square of 264. So which root? Fifth root. So denominator would be 5. Square. Square means the power should be 2. Second power. So we will write this 264 raised to 2 upon 5. Cube of cube root of 3. What is the power over here? Cube. Cube means the power is 3 third power is called as cube cube root cube root means third root third is third third root means cube root so here the index would be 3 upon 3 so here the index form is 3 raised to 3 upon 3